dog. He likes to smell his dog. Oh, yeah. What? Do you yeah, that guy was definitely giving off creepy, weirdo, white douche vibes. Um... Yeah, that's weird. How's it going, guys? And welcome to what is quite possibly the worst dating show on YouTube called The Button. Now, I've watched Abba and Preach watch a lot of these uh, videos. They seem to watch a lot of The Cut videos. Um, and on this channel, The Cut, there's a dating show called The Button. Quite a cool concept in some ways. And then in other ways, quite a brutal concept. Um, where literally they sit down face to face and they go on a date and... Once the button turns red, either one of them gets to choose whether they want the date to go on or whether they want to skip the person and go on to someone else. Quite a brutal way to do a date. And that does make for some comedic uh, takes and some comedic moments. So, uh, yeah, let's react to one of these videos and give our thoughts on the matter. This is the button. Hello. Hi. I like your shirt. Oh, thank you very yeah. much. I appreciate it. Did you get it at, like a thrift store or something? Oh yeah, I got it from one of my friends. Yeah. Nice. Trey. <laughs> okay, so this fella sits down, and the first thing this girl says is, "I like your shirt." Quite a normal thing to say to someone when you when you first meet somebody. But what isn't a normal thing to say is, "Did you get that from a thrift store?" Did you get it from a thrift store? I can see your cheap. I can see your cheap ass wallet there. It's looking pretty thin. It's looking pretty thin there, boys. Did you get that from a thrift store? Okay. Yeah, you're 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 not my type. Skip. Makes one thousand plus tortillas a day. I do make a lot of tortillas every day. For like work or? Yeah, that's how for, I make my money. Yeah, like, that's kind of what I do. I grew up eating a lot of Mexican food, so. Oh really? I like tortillas. Oh, right. Yeah. You know, if you're mm -hmm. hanging out with me, you can get fresh tortillas anytime. Nice. Yo, did we all see that wink? I don't know whether this is like a techie's god or something, but that wink. If you're hanging out with me, girl, I can make you a thousand plus tortillas every day. Is that sexy or not? I think that's pretty sexy. You like your tortilla? I could put my sausage in your tortilla. Yeah, yeah. I'm not I'm too big of a fan of tortillas, yeah. then, yeah. No. <laughs> Alright, can I get the fuck out of here? I want the, uh... Sure. Yeah, sounds good. Oh! That's kind of like one of those like awkward moments where the guy thinks the girl's in him and then the girl's like, nah, you're not my type. And then he's like, yeah, well, bitch, you're not my type either, all right? Can I get the fuck out of here? Okay, yeah, I can. Okay, bye. Bye, bitch. Didn't want you anyway. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah? How are you? Good. What makes you horny? Ooh! <laughs> my mom was ready to just... <laughs> My, my, my man was on the edge of his seat waiting to hit, hit that button. And as soon as the button like blinked, he was like, Oh shit, okay, it didn't quite go red. <sighs> didn't quite go red. This is... This is pretty awkward here. This is, uh... Anyway, what's your name, sorry? There. <laughs> sorry. This is gonna sound hell hella whack, but none of the guys have got to press the button yet. Oh, okay. She knew that guy wanted to hit the button as soon as he sat down and she was... Just wasn't quick enough. Just wasn't quick enough. My theory is he's not into white women. Listen, Abby, okay? Not every man wants to sit down and have sex with you, okay? Not every man. Not every man thinks you're beautiful, okay? It might be because you're white, or it might just be he likes white women, he just doesn't like you specifically, okay? All right, let's go. Carrick, nice to meet you. Carrick? Yeah. Nice to meet you. I have a fact about Julie. She was banned from Hinge. Banned from <laughs> Hinge? What did you do? I was unhinged, unhinged, and oh, shit. I would fire You're back drunk. to anybody that would make too early of a sexual... <laughs> Why'd you reject me? Um, I feel like we were vibing more than the last girl, but like still kind of wasn't like, I see. There, okay. I guess. Thank you. But you're dope. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I got banned off Tinder, so I guess we had that in common. My man got banned off Tinder for 100% sending dick, dick pics. 100%. Man just has that vibe. He 100% was just taking those slong pictures to every single girl, girl he matched with. Jasmine likes nerdy frat guys. Nerdy frat guys? <laughs> That's not me. What are you? How do you describe <laughs> yourself? Um, I don't know. See? Yeah, Why'd you reject me? Was it was it because I rejected the the last two? No, I'm not. Shit, huh? No, I'm not petty like that. But 
Maybe a little bit. That's alright. But like, yeah, okay. yeah. It's okay. Oh, this man gives off such douchey vibes. You know what the funniest thing is about this show, all right? People can literally reject, like, five people in a row. And as soon as one person rejects them, they're like, Oh my gosh. I can't believe you just did that. How dare you reject me? Look at my freaking Spider-Man web tattoo in my elbow. You not like that shit? <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What kind of vibe are you looking for? Oh, I love this show so much. You can tell which person's going to skip who, right? Like, as soon as a girl has a streak where she skips a couple of people in, in a row, the guy, as soon as the button's, like, turns red, he'll be like, Bye, bitch. Don't you skip my homies. Don't you dare skip my homies, bro. It's such a petty game show, but I love it. I, or a petty dating show, but I love it. I actually love it. You like what now? I like bad boy. <laughs> what makes you think I'm a bad boy? I didn't say that. I was just saying. <laughs> nah, it's okay. What's your name? Razia. What's your name? Jason. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Are you a bad boy? I'm a wholesome person. How about that? Mm. You sound so toxic. I'm sorry. I'm not toxic at all. I'm a wholesome person. I am wholesome. I'm going to let you redo it. How would you describe yourself? Wholesome. <laughs> I really like your earrings. That's the Oh, thank you. <laughs> I thought she was in the bad boys. Is that not what she wants? My man should have come in there and was like, are you wholesome? Nah. Nah, fool. I'm a bad boy. I'm a bad boy. I'll take you down the dog alleyway. I'm a bad boy. <laughs> I don't believe you one bit. Nice to meet you. You too. Cole likes to smell his dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What? Do you, are you like a pet person? I mean, yeah, but like, what do you mean you like to smell your dog? <laughs> so you know how like, if there's someone you really like, you like the smell of them? Yes. I'm the same with my dog. <laughs> okay, like so like smell. you're picking out the shampoos and stuff on purpose to make sure they smell good for you or like... Oh, for my own hair? Or no, for my no, dog? No, no, for your dog. Yeah, no, I mean, just as like, not even when he shampooed like the barber, just, just whenever. Oh. Just like smell my dog. I guess that's kind of weird. Do you have any dogs? But I don't I used to have a dog? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that guy was definitely giving off creepy, weirdo, white douche vibes. Um. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. I just gotta start to smell my dog. Two seconds. Um. I mean, she smells pretty good. If you think that Kai shit and. Rabbit blood smells good, but, uh... I mean, she needs a bath. <laughs> <laughs> For real, she actually doesn't smell that bad, alright? The reason why I said she, she smells like cow shit and rabbit blood is because... She was out catching rabbits okay. last night. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Nice to meet you as well. I like your little fit you got going on here. Thank you. I tried a little bit. Okay, Top Golf. Do you work at Top Golf? I do. I'm a bartender there. Oh, okay. okay. I usually go to the actual driving ranges, you know, in the okay. area. I think this is a match. This is a match. If it's called a match, either I don't think she's gonna hit the button. If anything, I think he's gonna hit hit the button for all those homies who she passed on. Do you play golf? I do play golf. Oh, okay. Do you play golf? Uh, I picked it up when I got the top golf. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, we might have to get a swing sometime. Yeah, that'd be fun. Okay, so what do you like to do for fun other than golf? So I was a cosmetologist and an esthetician for a little bit. Oh, okay, so you could do hair. Yeah, I can do hair. But I have a question. Mm -hmm. How would your ex, your most recent one, describe you? She would probably say I'm caring on the bad side. She'd probably say that she would say I'm controlling, but the only reason why she would say that is because mm -hmm. she uh, posts very explicit pictures on Instagram. Oh, this is going to be a turn off. 100% she's going to hit that button. Boom. Women power and all that shit, you know. It's 100% okay for a woman who's in her, who's dating a man to post lewd pictures online. It's 100% fine. For all those weirdos out there to sit there and beat, beat their meat over, you know. They'll all sit back there on a the high horse and be like, you can't control me. I can do whatever I want. If I want to post those lead pictures online and get men to like it, get hundreds of likes from all these weirdo creep ass men out there, it's fine. That's fine. Well, you know what? Huh? You know what? That is fine. You'll just not be doing it in a relationship with me. Bye bye. Bye bye. Like, you know, I understand that you're happy with your body and I support mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, can we like dial it back just a little bit? Okay. And she didn't like that. Interesting. 
Ooh, she kind of flinched a wee bit. She was thinking about it. She was thinking about it. To defend her. She didn't press the button. You didn't. I didn't, and I've been pressing it. <laughs> I have been Oh, I've been, I've been seeing the cycle. Mm -hmm. Do you think you two would be interested in going on a second date? I'd be interested in going on a second date. <laughs> I too would be interested in going on a second date. <laughs> you seem like you actually mean it when you say like you're a very caring person. Sometimes you care too much. And you kind of seem like you're really putting yourself out there. Like you're not really holding back. And I really like that. I admire that. Yeah, your smile, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna light up one more time. Oh, one more time. Alright, I'm gonna get my prediction as to what's gonna happen here. I don't think she's gonna press the button. I also... Ugh, I'm kind of hemming in hand. Is he gonna press the button? See, I'm kind of thinking, did he see her flinch, ready to hit that button? But then dialed it back, kind of give it a second thought? Or is he gonna trust her? I mean, she's sitting here with her hands at the button like this. So my man's got to have the quickest reflexes of all time. My man's got to be like, where's your sharp? Like Floyd Mayweather style sharp. You know what I mean? My prediction is no one's going to hit the button. I'm not going to look at it, so if you hit it. Oh! Shit! Look at that. <laughs> look at that smile. She's just like, oh yeah, I did, bitch. I did. Bye bye. I pressed it. <laughs> Never give a girl a second chance. All right. Never give her a second chance to hit that button. All right. Still always press it. There'll always be that little devil sitting on her shoulder, like, "Hey, there could be a badass man back there. You like bad boys? Why don't you press that button? The next man might be a little bad boy." Women will always press the button, given a second chance. That's all I've seen on this on on this game show. Why did you reject me? I don't know. I just couldn't get over the little like. I don't know why I rejected you. It was just uh, I don't know. Just my gut feeling, you know. My gut feeling was that you're not a bad boy, so I hit that button. I'm sorry, but I can't give you a good reason why I don't like you. I just don't like you. I don't know why she's a southern gal, but hey ho. Let's go. Thing that you were talking about with your ex, I kind of do like to post freely. I don't like anybody to hold me back. That was kind of my issue with my last relationship. So as much as I like everything else in the conversation and I really wanted it to work, I just don't want to be in another situation where I feel like I'm held back at all. This absolutely drives me mad. Drives me mad. Women will sit there and they'll be like, I don't want anyone to hold me back. I want to post all these lure pictures online. I don't care. I'm gonna post my nipples, gonna post my ass crack, gonna post my pussy flaps online for everyone to see. Give me your phone there, boy. Let me see who you've been texting. Who's Felicia? Who's this girl, Felicia? I can't believe you've been texting this girl, Felicia. While I'm off there giving nipple pics out for free to all these men, I can't believe you've been texting Felicia. Wow. That's rude. What is wrong with a man wanting to keep his girlfriend to himself? What is wrong with that? What is wrong with a man wanting to keep the intimate parts of a relationship between a man and a woman intimate and sacred? I don't get society in 2022. It doesn't make any sense. What is wrong with these people? Go on, sir. Go out there. Plenty more fish in the sea, my boy. Plenty more fish in the sea. Go out there and get yourself a good little woman. Anyway, guys, that's the button on a YouTube channel called The Cut or Cut. I can't remember exactly. If you enjoyed it, Hit that like button for me. Comment down below what you enjoyed. Give me your thoughts on the matter. And yeah, I will see you all again next time. And as always, until then, goodbye.